Hi, welcome to my new and second video of Django Beginner's Guide. Today we are going to learn about models in Django and what is its use cases. Let's just recall what we have learned in previous video. We learned about Django, installing virtual environment, Python and Django. We also had a look on Django project structure and Django apps and a simple hello world example. If you want to watch first part of this series, I will add link in description. Before starting the video, if you are new here, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to receive every new video updates. Today's our topic is Django models. A model in Django is a Python class defined by Django to represent data and facilitate the creation, update, and management of the data in the database. If you are making a music store website, there are various data like user data product detail that you need to store. In this case, an artist is an object that has its own properties like name, country, genre, birth year. Now we will create the artist model. Models should be defined inside an app folder in a file named models.py. You cannot create models in the main app. The main app does not even have a models.py file. But there is a models.py file inside the song app that we created. So open the models.py file of the song app in the editor and add these lines to the file. Let's review the code snippet line by line. In the first line, we import from django.db. The models is the module that has the base class for all of our models. The first line is automatically created by Django when a new app is created. Class artist, in this line, we're defining our artist, or in other words, our model of the artist. The special keyword class is used to define a model which is basically a class. Artist is the name we're giving to our model. Usually, a model name should start with a capital letter you can name it anything you want, but if it's better to be meaningful and something easy to remember. Next, we are creating the properties of our model. The first one is the name of the artist. This field is of type, in other words field of characters with max length of 250. It means that this field could hold up to 250 characters. The type field of the country is the same as the name but with only 150 characters. The next stop is birth year. This field is an integer field. As the name suggests, it is an integer for example 1988. The last one is the genre which is just another char field like name and country. Most of the time you will be needed more than one model. Let's create another model called song. As you can see there is a new field foreign key. What is foreign key? Sometime we have two or several models that feels associated with each other. The way we are going to associate models with each other is by using what's known as a foreign key. Foreign key is a way to associate a record in a model for example artist to the song model. By foreign key to the artist model, we can access all the properties of the artist like birth year, genre, the song model. What are migrations? When we add a model to our models.py file, nothing actually happened until we tell Django that it should check the models and apply changes that we have made to the models.py. This is called migrations in Django's world. By migrating our models we make sure that the model definition in models.py files and the actual database are in sync. Also, every change that we make in our model, like adding a new field, should apply to the database too. Migrations take care of these two. Django migrations are a two-step process. First, we make migrations and then we apply them. Open a terminal and make sure you have activated your virtual environment. Now it's time to apply the changes to the database. This command creates our migration file. This file is an instruction for Django on how to create tables in your database with regard to your models in the app. If you check out the music app directory you can see that a migration folder has been created which contains two Python files. The output of this command should look like this.
Now, are both the models have been migrated or mapped into our databases tables? So, for now we have learned about the models and migrations. Do you guys have any question in your mind? Do not hesitate to ask your queries in comments section. I will try to answer each of your queries. Also do check out my other different videos. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. Until the next time goodbye.